Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. Latest spear phishing scams target tax professionals. Those SOBs. But first, an attempt at a joke. I apologize in advance. I totally missed watching the Super Bowl. But that's okay, because I've got my own Super Bowl. I bought mine at Costco. And you know how all their stuff is super big. My Super Bowl being no exception. It's a Super Bowl. And not just a Super Bowl, a Super Soup Bowl. Although you can't put super amounts of cereal in it too. And it's non-controversial without one commercial. Well, maybe one on the cereal box. But that's not my Super Bowl's fault. IR 2022-36 February 16, 2022, Washington. With tax season in full swing, the Internal Revenue Service, state tax agencies, and tax industry today warn tax professionals of new email scams that attempt to steal their tax software preparation credentials. Honestly, it's even more disturbing when you see these ruthless individuals trying to scam the poor tax professionals whose only objective in life is to serve, giving back to the community, working towards world peace. Anyways, let's get back to it. The Security Summit partners warn these scams serve as a reminder that tax professionals remain uh, prime targets for thieves. So obviously there's an increase in a desire or demand of the scamming to get personal information due to in part changes in the tax law and some of the changes to deal with the whole downturn of the COVID thing, which uh, are going through the tax law, things that could result in, for example, refundable credits such as the earned income tax credits, the stimulus payments, the, the uh, child tax credit, the advanced child tax credits, and so on and so forth, are uh, gonna make an increased desire for people to try to wanna file fraudulent tax returns, and therefore that's gonna make the tax preparers a bigger target to try to pick up that type of information and do that type of scam. Uh, so we got to be more vigilant in that area. So these thieves try to steal client data and tax preparers identities in an attempt to file fraudulent tax returns for refunds. And again, this, this has always been a thing, but it's a bigger thing when there's so much in terms of refundable tax credits and, and so on that's going on at this point in time. So uh, you got to be more careful even than normal, I would think. So the latest phishing email uses the IRS logo in a variety of subject lines, such as, quote, action required, your account has now been put on hold, end quote. And this has always been kind of a problem with, with the IRS kind of emailing or initiating an email. They always used to contact through snail mail, the actually old mailing process. So you can kind of say, well, if I got an email from the IRS, you know, that's probably spam or something like that. But they, they need to come into the new age so we, we can get emails and whatnot from the IRS because every business does that, every bank does that. But as we do that, you know, we're getting more subject then because it's a new thing. All these new changes mean new scams. Uh, then, you know, it's more likely that you're going to get scammed by an email that looks like an IRS letter because we're not used to that stuff as much. So the IRS has observed similar uh, bogus emails that claim to be from a quote tax preparation application provider end quote. One such verification offers an quote unusual activity report end quote and a solution link for the recipient to restore their account. So you can see they're getting kind of tricky with this. The components of these phishing scams are always the same. However, they're going to try to scare you. You got some kind of scare tactic, which is gonna scare people during tax time for <laughs> tax professionals when they're trying to get through a bunch of work and they're dealing with sensitive information trying to keep tax uh, clients happy and whatnot this uh, an unusual activity report is going to be disturbing something that they're going to want to look into and then there's a short relative they usually have a time constraint on it you got to get to it now you got to go to it through this link you got to contact us by this thing and uh and so it's a typical same kind of thing with just a different twist on it and, but they can get quite creative within that, within that same range of the old <laughs> email scams. Anyways, uh, quote, scams continue to evolve and this one is especially sinister since it, since it threatens tax professionals' accounts, end quote, said IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick. Quote, tax professionals must remain vigilant in identifying and staying clear of these IRS impersonation emails. A little extra care can protect the tax professionals and their clients, end quote. 
So email uh, claiming emails claiming quote your account has been put on hold end quote are scams. The IRS has observed similar bogus emails that claim to be from tax software providers. So that's the other place you would expect this to happen. Whoever your tax software provider is, they try to impersonate the software provider and then give an email, which might actually be more effective because you're more likely to get an email from your tax software provider who's more up to date in how to communicate than the IRS typically. But in any case, the scam email will send users to a website that shows the logos of several popular tax software preparation providers clearing on one of these logos request tax preparer account credentials. I can't believe how long these websites could stay up without them have been able to do something. That's the, that's the thing that shocks me about it. I can see how you can create a bogus website, but you would think once they know it's bogus, can't you can't you take down the website somehow? I don't get how, like why well, it doesn't seem like any case. The IRS warns tax pros not to respond or take any of the steps outlined in the email. Similar emails include malicious links to attachments that are set up to steal information. There's a link to that or to download malware into the tax professional's computer. No, these people need to be stopped. In this case, if recipients enter their credentials into the pop-up window, thieves can use this information to file fraudulent returns by using credentials that were provided by the tax professional. An example of this type of bogus email states, your account has, has now been put on hold. All preparers are required to apply security features to their tax pro account towards 2021 tax return processing. You have failed to apply a new update before ex expiry date uh, you you are restore and update your account immediately. Please click here to update your account now. Import failure to update your account within the next two the next 24 hours will lead <clears throat> to your account being terminated and be barred from filing tax returns claims for 2021 tax season. Your access will be restored once you have updated your details sincerely. So obviously, that's that is a scary email for a tax professional. Uh, and you know, so in any case, tax professionals who clicked on one of the URLs and then entered into their account information should contact their software preparation provider support hotline. Tax professionals who get a scam email should save the email as a file and then send it as an attachment to phishing at irs.gov. <clears throat> so you want to report the, that they're doing this. Probably is not going to save you, but it might help them to put something together to save future people from having a problem with this. So they should also notify the Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration at www.tigta.gov. There'll be a link to this in the description so you can find all this stuff here. Uh, to report the IRS impersonation scam, both the TIGTA and the IRS Criminal Investigation Division are aware of this scam. Well, do something about it, people. You guys need to do something about this. The poor tax professionals are being targeted. This isn't right. This isn't right. Okay. The IRS state tax agencies and the nation's tax industry working together in the security summit investigation have taken numerous steps since 2015 to protect taxpayers, businesses, and the tax system from identity thieves. Summit partners continue to warn people to watch out for common scams and schemes this tax season. For additional information to help Tax professionals should review publication 4557, Safeguarding Taxpayer Data and Identity Theft Information for Tax Professionals. There's links to that stuff here. There'll be a link to this in the description.